What's going on YouTube? Hey, just sitting here with uh, neighbor old man Bob and he just did some new lights on his bike. So checking that out. Uh, blinkers, all that. That thing's crazy. New fairing. Uh, I was going to wait until these were actually on a bike, but I kind of got to show them now. Like these are too cool not to let you see. Check these out. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I got that front drum hub worksman. I finally found a rear rim. Um, this actually has 11 gauge spokes here and a nice Shimano E110 coaster brake, but you can see Man that actual rim band that thing is huge. These are so thick I've actually ran one of these on a bike for I don't know what a year year and a half Bob something like that on my dyno deuce I don't remember if you guys remember the uh, nitro deuce. Uh, it, it, in fact here. Hold on Yeah I've ran one of these Worksman hubs on this thing, I don't know, a year and a half. Not a single one of these spokes, every single, it, I mean, they're still tight. Um, so I definitely, uh, Motor Life approved. Now these tires I put on, these are actually nice tires, but I would not recommend these for anybody in any sort of wet situation, because obviously, uh, you're going to fall. <laughs> now I'm not going to lie, these things are pretty heavy. But these are going on uh, this bike I got here, which actually turned out pretty nice with that paint job. But also got, since I hate using that rag joint, in fact, the one on the Dino Deuce does, does have a rag joint. I got uh, one of these, a, you know, another hub mount CNC sprocket. This one's from mbrebel.com. This is actually a 40 tooth, but you can see these notches are cut out so you don't have to take off that brake arm install so for beginners that kind of stuff perfect now this front drum you get coaster on the back you actually automatically have double braking system love these worksman wheels i mean honestly uh, a local company caterpillar here in town built trikes to haul their you know heavy parts back and forth inside the factories so you know these are i mean it's almost a moped rim and this five inch drum brake i'm, I'm pretty sure this is the french version because it's actually the same front drum that is on my Vespa back here. I don't know if you guys can see back there. So this is a 1978 Piago Chow. So, and actually this drum is right around from that area, right around the early 80s. So, I mean, that's awesome. Perfect for braking. You have a double brake system. Awesome for motorized bikes. If you want a set of rims that's going to stay true, try to find a worksman. I'm not going to lie. The front drum, uh, they're worth about $350. And you can find the rear rim new for, I don't know, about $99. So expensive, but worth it. It will last a uh, long time. I mean, come on, 11 gauge spokes. What other rim has, you know, something that big? So awesome, guys. Thanks for watching once again. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. Um, yeah, I had to show you guys these. So I'm going to put these on that cool bike, and we'll see how they do. Deuces. All right, before I go, Bob wanted me to show you that, uh, well, he has been using the exact same rims that I actually found for him. Uh, for two years now, not a hitch. I mean, he goes through, you know, routine maintenance, just making sure they're tight, but uh, worth the money.